Chris is somebody that builds things. Everything that I ever needed to learn, I learned from Chris. She's very, very sharp, very perceptive, very strategic, and she also knows how to draw on the talents of the people you know, with her. She's completely loyal uh, to her colleagues, her team. Um, you know, they will follow her over a cliff. I would follow her over a cliff, without a doubt. When Nat Geo decided to launch a television channel, Chris created this, this program development and commissioning entity called the Program Enterprise Group. She built that. I mean, I, I felt like the whole creation of original programming for these channels who were defining themselves was absolutely uh, her dream child. When I first worked there, we were producing this series, Africa with PBS and National Geographic. It was a massive series for an independent production company to do. It was an eight-part series. No other independent production company had ever done that before, and without her it would never have happened, that's for sure. So there was one point early in the Africa series where I, we were looking at the script and said, mm, gee, we really need the advice of someone with some expertise. I said, yes, we need a paleontologist here. And Chris says, why don't I just call Richard Leakey and get him over here? Two weeks later, there we were, sitting across the table from Richard Leakey, and he was there primarily because he'd gotten a call from Chris Weber. And then I decided she was so good that she had to come and work for us. So that's when she started up um, Tiger Tigress here in Washington. The first project that I ever was hired to work on by Chris was a project called Pop Nation. Um, she had started a company called Tiger Tigress, and having no office space was not going to stop her. We decided that we were going to move production to Guapo's, the Mexican restaurant in Bethesda. Around like one o'clock, they would come around with menus and ask what you'd like for lunch. So you'd be doing your work and you'd be like, I will have the carne asada, thank you. It was, it was good. To this day, I have no idea if Andrew Jackson knew whether or not we worked out of a Mexican restaurant. A Mexican restaurant? Where they, they started off in a, I know, I must admit that part of it, um, that part of it has escaped my memory. Chris's energy level is legendary. She moves at a frenetic pace doing everything. Chris's energy levels are sort of like, well, Red Bull calms her down. Kit Kat bar? Yeah, she's the candy girl. Chris's office always has little jars of candy. The stash, I think Chris called it the mom drawer. And she was always telling us, if, you, if you're hungry, if you run out of something, come in and check the mom drawer. See, this is the one maybe place where Chris is duplicitous. But when the candy dish comes out with the chocolate, it means something bad. It means perhaps your show's getting canceled. Candy? Certainly Chris has been involved in some of the, I think, the very best programming on TV. But I also think that Chris brings values to the workplace that, that we should also be honoring. She's fair. She listens. She treats people with dignity and respect. She creates a safe environment, and a safe environment fosters creativity and risk. I think Chris has certainly uh, worked to create opportunities for other women program makers, other filmmakers, other women who are running their own companies. She has always had her priorities straight. For her, her son David, right up there at the top. Chris is a put on your big girl pants, roll up your sleeves and let's do this. And there, there's not, there's not going to be a whole lot of whining about it. God, I love Chris Weber. She's an amazing person. Congratulations, Chris Weber. You absolutely deserve this award, and I am applauding you right now and always. You go, girl. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Chris. Chris. Congratulations, Chris. Congratulations, Chris. Congratulations, Chris. Congratulations, Chris. This is really great, Mom. You definitely deserve this award. Definitely done a lot for the industry that you're in, and I love you. The Chris Weber.